As you guys might tell, I've been hoarding a few packages. Um, <laughs> I got some of these a while back. I just haven't needed anything in them yet, but I'm about to need them because we're going to be taking the Sea Dory out uh, this Sunday and Monday for an overnight trip, a little sea trial, and there are a few things in here that I need. So let's start opening this stuff and just see what we got. I, I know what most of it is. Some of it's going to be surprised. If I open some of them slowly and don't share them with you, it's because I don't know what it is, but I, I didn't order anything that's, you know, bad or anything. All right, let's start with the small stuff. Oh, I know what this is. What's up? Dylan, good to see you, man. All right, so this first package is some special caulking. Uh, let's see here. Who's that? Well, I can't see. I need to read you closer so I can see the chat a little bit. That was the money maker. What's up? What's up, Larry? What's, what's blocking me? Uh-oh. Hold on. Little closer there. Little closer there. All right, we're going to get on with this. All right, got some caulking here. This is to uh, to rebed the front hatch that's on the bow of the sea dory. It's a special stuff. This is like $15. What's up, finally, Bob? Good to see you, buddy. Scott, what's up? What's up? Uh, yes, I can't wait for the next adventure, too. But, uh, yeah, this is really expensive stuff. Uh, but you got to have the right stuff to do that with. Uh, all right. Number one. All right. Well, this. Oh, yeah, I think I know what this is. This I got this out of necessity, which most of all this stuff is necessity, of course. I don't really just spend money on crazy, silly stuff. Uh, but this is something, if you guys watched the whitewater rafting video, I had something break. I had to go buy a new camera. Yes, that's what this is. And so these are spare parts. You guys can see they are lenses for my camera. And not only are they spare lenses, but they're also they're like special ones. Uh, it's, it's like a, a, one's like a UV lens and like tent lenses, so it'd be better when I'm in like bright sun or filming water so you can see down in the water like you look at their polarized sunglasses. At least it's supposed to work like that. We'll see. Okay, get in there. All right, I got these. These are siphon hoses. So if you guys have seen me on some of my uh, skiff and micro skiff trips, I've been, uh, you know, I'll carry extra fuel and I have to fill up my 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 fuel. This will actually help me where instead of having to pour the fuel, you can use these little hoses and like doo -doo -doo, or you know get it where it starts the little sucking action, automatic siphon action. It'll fill your tanks that way. So this will be nice. It'll be good to have on the sea door because we have two different fuel tanks and each is independent to an individual motor. So if one motor goes down, you'll need all the fuel to be gone to the other motor. So if you don't have a way to transfer fuel from tank to tank, then you'll be stuck with all the fuel in one tank and be able to use it. Uh, let's see, what's up, Corey? Uh, hanging in here in PCB. Oh, sweet. That's where I'm coming on uh, Sunday, man. Uh, I was at the Cuticle Sanders yesterday. You wouldn't recognize it after they built up the jetty. Oh, really? Sweet. I didn't know they were doing work on the jetty. I can't wait to see it. Uh, either I'm drunk or you're out of focus. I don't think I'm out of focus, uh, Cy. So you must have started early today. <laughs> what's up, Kathy? Oh, well, I don't need to open this. But yeah, that's what these are. There's two in here. Uh, this is a really cool one. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to save this one. I've been I'm excited about that one. All right, let's see here. Here, a company contacted me. They, I think you saw how clean I like to keep my boat. So they're like, you know what? Uh, Better Boat contacted me, and they sent me a bunch of products. Uh, probably the coolest one is this soap foam gun. Uh, so like, instead of having to like, dip your brush in the bucket of soap, you just like put soap in this little thing and just spray it all over your boat and you scrub it down. Um, and I, so I think it'd be nice. I actually, I saw it on a video where I kind of wash on, you know, best ways to wash your boat and the people with professional for using these. So I'm real excited about having this. Uh, it also came, I got some metal polish because some of the metal on my sea door needs to be polished. I got some wax sealant. It's like a ceramic sealant. It's supposed to be really, really good on awesome for your boat, helping it stay clean. I've also got some boat erasers, you know, like a magic eraser for a boat. And I've got some uh, marine polish wax. And also some of their boat soaps coming, but they're actually sold out of it right now. So they're going to send me that whenever they get it back in stock. Uh, you guys know I like to keep my boat clean, so. All right, uh, let's see. This one. I don't, I'm not sure what's in this one. So just recently came, so I just recently ordered this. What is it? 
Oh, well, yeah, some of this stuff, some of this stuff's free. That company sent me, they're kind enough to do that. Um, some of it's not that I bought. Oh, yeah, I know what this is. Okay, so with the seed work, I was, you know, I'm trying to figure out some ways I'm going to film while I'm underway and while making videos on the seed work. So some of this stuff is for that, like camera equipment. So this is a, I'm going to give that one. It's a camera mount, kind of like a tripod. That is so loud, probably. Uh, so basically, you can hook a GoPro. All right, you got this clamp. You can clamp it to things, and it, wow, it's very tight. And you can put a GoPro right in the top, or you can supposedly, yeah, you could put this in here. Then you have this flexible mount that I hope is worth a flip. It feels pretty rigid. So I can basically clamp this around the boat for different angles and different shots while I'm underway. It's gonna be handy. How do I get that out? Don't break the trip. I'm bad about breaking stuff. Alright. Didn't break. And then in here, I think I have some different ball heads. Sorry, I, I can't really see the chat very good. It's really small on my phone. So, save your questions. Uh, I'd love to have you here catching some snook and redfish. Yeah, well, I wish I was catching them too. Uh, yeah, you would have lost it, Kathy. What's up, Bob, over in Brazil, man? Man, good to see you from way down there. So here, I just got a couple ball heads. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with these, but it'll just be a different place for me to mount cameras. Like if I can just kind of put this ball head somewhere, or I can, I don't know, I have a few different ideas in my head, attach it to a shelf, or the different places, my most common place I'll be filming, I can just set these up, and then put a little quick connect on top of these, and I'll be ready to go. Uh, because you know, I've learned that you know to make the videos you need to have different angles, and you know the easier it is for you to film, the more I'm gonna film, and the more stuff I film, I usually get the you know the good, exciting stuff, or the stuff that people normally don't film that I think is interesting, and hopefully you guys think is interesting. But I basically I just film what I want to watch, and hopefully that is the same thing y'all watch. All right, uh, this. Uh, oh, I think I know what this is. This, this is kind of just a. A personal pleasure, I guess you could say. Yep. I got uh, three sets of guitar strings. <laughs> I need some guitar strings. So, those will go back there. Uh, all right. Um, oh, yeah, this one. All right, this is for the Sea Dory. Something we have been needing. If you guys saw the recent video where I was, of the products I was doing for, for the Sea Dory, this is going to go in conjunction with one of those. Yes, this is it. Is there, I'm expecting something else too, but it's not in here. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, I got some guitar picks too. <laughs> oh, these are the uh, Acetol Polymer uh, 0.8 millimeter. Uh, a buddy of mine who came to Rock Dot last year, Trey Davis, he, I was up, playing guitar, and he was like, hey man, try this pick. And it was his pick, has his name on it, and I still have that pick right there on my guitar because I play with it every day. And he was like, man, try this pick, and I played it, and it was just played so nicely. I asked him what, what it was, so I went and bought some. This is what they are, so sweet. Decided to pick out one of those, and then I'll save my original Trey Davis pick. Although it's already worn down, and I had to trim it down. It's, I feel bad, <laughs> because it, some of that's still known to me. You know, I save all kinds of random stuff, and I throw away a lot of stuff that some people might think is useful and I should keep. All right, so here is a, a gas butane stove, just a one-eye stove that I will use on the sea door. If you guys saw the little uh, little cutout where I took the stove out to put a little uh, kind of a box underneath the countertop, hopefully this will fit in it perfectly, and it'll be my stove. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that, and it came in a carrying case which I may not even use the carrying case because it's basically going to stay and live in its little home because I don't know if this will fit down in there. Um, but it'll basically stay in that little cubby that I built for it. How does it open? Oh, pretty big. I think it fit. Yeah, that don't fit. Pretty cool. I just got to get some fuel for it because we'll be using it to cook some shrimp on Sunday night. And then we'll be cooking sausage and eggs on Monday morning. I'm ready for that. And I'm going with the family, so the four of us are going. What's up in Scotland? Uh, let's see here. You live where? Verdal. Where's that? Oh, Verdale. 
Cool. It's no smell RN or red tide. Okay, cool. Uh, yes, James. Yeah, I did a lot. Of, I did some research, and a lot of people spoke highly of these stoves, especially on the Amazon reviews. So uh, I'm looking forward to using this. I just didn't need that big old clunky and heavy and sophisticated and just uh, aggravating to use. A lot of times people sit on the forums, uh, that big diesel stove. So this would be a lot easier. All right. Uh, all right, these are both pretty... Yeah, both of these are pretty cool. Let's open, let's open the big one first, because it's taking up all this real estate up here. All right, so this is a package. Uh, a company contacted me, Sea Dory, to be exact, which is the kind of boat that I have. And they said, hey, Trip, uh, you know, we see you got a Sea Dory. Uh, we love what you're gonna be doing with it, because I haven't been anywhere on it yet. Um, and they said, hey, uh, can we help you out in any way? We'd like to send you a t-shirt and some stuff, or is there any equipment? Oh, holy snap. You're kidding me. Is there anything we can send you? And uh, I was like, uh, yeah. So I gave him a list of a couple things and a t-shirt. But they sent something. I just, I had no idea. There was just, what, look, look at this. This is, okay. I'm officially like hot glass. <laughs> look at this boat rug. <laughs> boat mat. Dude, that is cool. Dude, I don't put that. I'm just gonna put that on the wall. <laughs> that is so awesome. Man, I never, I didn't even know they had these. Thank you, C. Dory. Man, what else is in here? That is cool. I, I'm officially awesome. Again. <laughs> oh, and they sent a little note. All right, we'll read it. And it's handwritten. See, now that, that's special. With some business cards. Awesome. Thank you, Julie and Michael. Y'all are so polite. Okay, let's see. I'm going to read this to you. See, it's hand, a handwritten letter. How nice. Trip, just wanted to let you know that we love watching your videos. Wanted to send you a few things uh, you mentioned in your tears uh, from your most recent video. Hopefully, they help you out. Things, things are creatively packed, as, as this is not my usual thing. So hopefully, everything <laughs> makes their own damage. If not, let me know. No worries. No worries. Please don't hesitate to let Michael or myself know if you need anything. We are looking forward to seeing your adventures on the water. Take care, Julie and Michael. Very awesome. Thank you all so much. Uh, it's, really, it's really cool when you get a boat and the people, the manufacturer of the boat contacts you. It's like, hey, we're, we're happy we're using it. Uh, we're happy you're using our boat. And uh, I did a lot of research before I got the Sea Dory, so uh, I'm happy to be uh, creating a relationship with these people. Look at this, a Sea Dory tote. I didn't even know they had this stuff. They don't, I don't know if they advertise this, but this is cool stuff. Maybe this is what comes when you buy like a new boat or something like that. Man. Okay, we're going to be taking that this weekend. Dude, look at this. Ooh. T-shirts. Sweet. Digging the shirts. I got that one. And I got this one. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, who doesn't want to wear a boat shirt? Come on. Uh, let's see here. What is this? Like, oh, a Sea Dory friggin' water bottle? No kidding. Dude, look at that. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Algae bloom in the river also. No good. Uh, yep, it is what it is. Dude, they got their own man. They got a lot of cool stuff. All right, what else is in here? Man, this is, what is this? No freaking way. Oh my gosh. So they apparently, they watching my videos and paid attention. And they saw I was going to rework the electrical system. So this is a, yep, it's a Blue Seas uh, fuse panel. Bam. Totally awesome. I'll definitely use that. These are super nice, super expensive, which is what apparently, which is what they put in all of their boats. So that is awesome. And it also probably came with some, what is this? Ah, yes, this is, this is a small thing. This is really important. Oh, man. This is a little handle that goes on the sliding window on the pilot side or the, the starboard side. I needed this. Sweet. That's going on today. All right. Dude, this is freaking awesome. Fusion six inch grill white pair. What is this? Garmin. What is this? Oh. <laughs> they sent me new, new speaker covers. Wait a minute. And they sent me new speakers. Dang, where's my knife? What is it? Here it is. 
Dude, you're kidding. They saw me say I needed speakers, so... Wow. Too kind. And these are... <laughs> New Marine speakers. Dude! Man, see, don't worry, y'all are just too much, all right? <laughs> Man. Check it out. We're going to have these suckers thumping. Yeah, Christmas did come early, for sure. All right, I got to be really careful with this stuff. Uh, really careful. And a pair of speakers. Like, like all I asked for was, uh, was the little handle and a sea door sticker. <laughs> Two sea door stickers going on the side of the boat. Ooh, what is this? Is this just something? Ooh, wait. That's just a packing material. I got excited, though. What in the world is this for? <sighs> You're kidding me! Alright, so they apparently saw that I had a broken hatch handle. So, and you probably can't get just the, we're gonna open it. You probably can't get just the handle. Oh, and these are the new style. So they're like, screw it, we're just gonna send Trip a new hatch. And they're like, well, we don't want him to have two hatches that don't match. Let's just send him two new hatches. Are you? You guys, I've got it made. I don't care who you are. I'm, I'm very blessed and very fortunate. Dude, these are gonna go on. Well, I, I gotta get to work. I've already got a list of things to do before tomorrow. Before we shove off. Man, two, oh, here we go. Ah, here we go. These are a little bigger, so you'll have to cut the hole bigger for these, but it makes it easier to pull the batteries in and out. Perfect, all right, well these may not go on uh, today or tomorrow. Sweet. Dude, that's freaking awesome. That's freaking awesome. And these, this is what I was, one of the things I was looking for, just freaking silly stickers, but they're not like regular stickers. They're like 3D, they're like plastic, rubbery, you know, the real nice fancy uh, logos that go on the boat. And then look at this carpet. Is this just a random packing carpet? Yeah, but still, I'm going to put it somewhere because it's just, you know, it's, it's sentimental. See, this is, this is awesome. Man, see Dory, thank you so much. Man, that is awesome. <laughs> Julie Michael, y'all are just, y'all are just too much. Man. Cool. Ah, I don't know. I'm a little overwhelmed right now. So, uh, shop. Thank y'all so much. All right. Wait, what is this? Did we open this? Okay, no, this isn't for Cedar. This is from another good friend of mine. Uh, or I guess a good friend of mine. I don't, I don't know if you put Cedar yet, but uh, we're getting to know each other apparently. Uh, and I look forward to. All right. So, man, all that stuff was so cool. All right. This is from, I know who this is from. So, this is from my buddy Dan, Dan McNeil. I met him at Rocket Dot the first year. And after that first year, he started making hammocks. And he is MC in hammocks now. And he makes some freaking jam up hammocks. And of course, he's seen my hammock and, you know, my tarp. And, you know, then he's seen where I uh, went, uh, where I started using the Ninox. And how I'm not mm, totally in love with the Ninox, although it's super nice, it's big and bulky. And the hammock's just, it, it, it's, it's really big. So, he, at Rock Rock last year, he was like, hey man, uh, I want to just send you a hammock. You don't have to tell anybody uh, who it's from or whatnot. I just want to send you a hammock. So, uh, he asked me kind of what colors and stuff I wanted. And he sent me a hammock and it is awesome. I saw it on his YouTube and Instagram the other day. But look at that camo pattern that it is. I forgot what the name of it was. Did you write on here what it was? You put your cell phone. Dan, didn't have to put your cell phone. I think I, think I got your cell phone number, man. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Well, boom. MCN Hammocks. Check them out at mcnhammocks.com. Whatever. Man, because he really does, they're so much nicer than mine. Like, I'm just going to pull it out a little bit. Okay, got the awesome whoopee slings with a bead on it. Okay, that's, that's a new one to me. I guess it's on there for a reason. But see, the stitching is just so much better than mine. Man, and it's got the bug net. But look at that pattern. Oh, and I think it, yes, it does. So this one, even, even the bug net has the pattern on it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, even the bug netting has the pattern. So you're talking about from some stealth camping right here. This is my new go-to, right? This is it. Doesn't get, <laughs> doesn't get much better than that. Dan, thank you so much, brother. Gosh, man. Now, I gotta plan a trip just for the hammock, which I've already been thinking about that because I knew it was coming. I mean, I knew what it was when it came in the box, 
and I wanted to open it so bad, but I wanted to wait until I was going live to open it. <laughs> so finally, that day has come. Uh, but so now I've, I've already been planning some ideas for trips in my head of where I'm going to use this sucker first. And I, I can't wait. I can't wait. Wow. What a bunch of awesome stuff. Y'all. Y'all, I'm so lucky and fortunate that people send me all this stuff. I mean, what have I done to deserve all this? What's up, Dino? From Jax, Florida. Yes, definitely got some nice stuff, man. I'm very, very fortunate. That is a sweet package from Seed to Worry Bob. Oh, hey, mate. Mitch, what's up, brother? <laughs> That's Mitch from the uh, Skip Rally. Me and Mitch, we had a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> we had some special times together. <laughs> I'll, I'll never forget, and I want to do it again, man. Oh, for sure. Yes, it is perfect for stealth. Is Dan coming to Rock Dog? Absolutely, Bob. Dan will be at Rock Dog. He's been there every every year. Um, he's the one that last year, if you were, yeah, well, no, Bob wasn't there last year. Uh, the year before, I don't know, they're, they're sitting kind of in the middle of the, of the campground. Um, but yeah, yeah, Dan's definitely there. He's the one that they give away a, a hammock pretty much every year in the raffle. So yes, he will sure be there. Yes, we did have a good time, Mitch. We sure had a good time, man. I am, man, we had a whole lot of fun. <laughs> and we, but we didn't get in any trouble. <laughs> oh, you guys. All right. Well, 3.30. I have a long running list on my computer of things to do to the boat uh, before we go. Um, I've already made a, a grocery list and stuff because you got to do all that stuff when you bring the family along. But I've got a checklist of things i got to get done before we leave. So I've got to get on top of that stuff. Uh, let's see. What's up in Tampa? Hola. Uh, Louis Leary, I, I, sorry, I can't pronounce your name, uh, but I'm glad you're inspired, man. Uh, great, yep, there's Dan, he'll be there. Man, dude, I do like it, Dan, that thing is, dude, the, the camo is like, I don't know, it's like almost like evil looking. I mean, that's awesome, which I mean, that's not like, you know, yeah, it's awesome looking. Uh, that's correct, yeah, we were responsible adults. Just checking in. <laughs> That's why we're just checking on people. <laughs> oh, am I going to have a punishment meal with the family if you don't catch anything? Dante, no, we're not going to do that. We are a uh, oh, prim one. That's the camera. Uh, no, we're not going to have a punishment meal. We're actually going to be having shrimp uh, one night and cook it on the stove. And then we'll be having, you know, uh, eggs and sausage for breakfast. So nothing super uh, funky or, uh, you know, uh, you know, with, with the family. Although we'll have my standard, you know, sardines, egg salad in a bag, uh, probably have some jerky, and uh, I don't know what else, just some other random snacks and stuff, but uh, nothing, nothing super funky, no no punishment meals with the family, unless we find something really funky in the water, but I would, I probably am going to take the fishing pole, and I'm going to try and catch some fish, if we catch some mackerel, I'm going to eat it raw, like we did on the skiff rally, which that video should be coming next Sunday for you guys. Um, you guys get to see where we had the the raw uh, the raw fish. It was pretty awesome. Uh, still like the I don't know Mer paddle boards. <laughs> well, which one? Uh, MER paddle boards. Uh, what what do you say, Glory? Oh, the I rockers. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I love the I rockers. I still have my black fin, and I wish I had a new black fin because they are so freaking awesome. They're they made some improvements to them. You know, into the actual the uh, into the construction of them, the materials and stuff. Uh, so yes, they are super nice, but I said the biggest improvement they made uh, from 2021 to 2022 or whatever this this recent uh, new models uh, are the colors and they're, the color scheme is really awesome. So yeah, I would, I would definitely uh, suggest that. Um, and iRocker makes a few different series of boards. Uh, their most uh, their top tier is going to be the black fan, which is what I have. And then they go down to the iRocker boards, then the nautical boards, and the nautical is extremely affordable and it's, and it's still a good board where you can get in contact with the company if you have a, a warranty issue. So that's something that you don't, that's harder to do if you just buy something cheap off Amazon. Uh, fortunate Runt, hey Trip, you inspired us long ago to start kayak camping. Years later, we still do it many times a year. That's awesome. I'm glad y'all do it. I'm glad y'all enjoy it. Uh, yeah, cannot wait. Uh, tons of Spanish mackerel are around. All right, sweet, mass man. Daniel, man, I appreciate that. Uh, yes, and he's the one who actually caught the Spanish mackerel and cut it up and we just ate that sucker raw with some super hot wasabi and a little soy sauce. It was delicious. But he also, you know, so, so, you know, he can't catch fish, but, but he can also... Wait, Mitch caught that one. Never mind. Mitch caught that one. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mass man can't catch it. I mean, well, actually, he can. I mean, they, they caught a big snapper, but they they threw it back. They, 
There was some confusion with the rules, and he threw it back, and we all could be eating a huge freak. No, it was a bull red. Or was it a snapper? It was, it was a bull red. Yeah, and threw it back. So, uh, <laughs> way to go. <laughs> that, one, that was fun to take with the rest of the trip with. Uh, let's see. Your trip, when am I coming to Central Florida? Jackson. Oh, what's up, Jackson? Um, uh, Jackson with the GNU, right? Right? Yeah. Um, I, I, when am I coming to Central Florida? Probably like in August. I think I'm coming in August. I want to go to like Crystal River or somewhere down there. Uh, take the sea door down that way. I think I might be coming down that time because that's my birthday. And uh, so, uh, hey, if you're around, come on over, man. Let's hang out. Uh, yeah, for sure. But yeah, I mean, but stay tuned on my Instagram story, and that's where you'll be able to see where I'm going and when I'm going, uh, and then you can catch up with me wherever I'm at, man. Um, but I was, well, I'll be going to probably, probably going to Steen Hatchie again, and I like to do Crystal River at the same time if I can get that much time off. Uh, I'd like to do both of those trips. You know, like I did two last year. That was so much fun. That was so much fun. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see, Brian, what's up? What's up, trip? Had fun on the skip trip, man. Me too, Brian. We had so much fun, buddy. We had so much fun. I'm ready to do it again, and. So, a right, little info on the skiff trip, since we do have two skiff rally uh, members here, um, we're going to keep doing them, and it's going to be a lot easier to do them, like we, like, like we talked about there, since I'm going to make the rule where everyone has to sleep on their boat, and that way we can camp anywhere, we can go anywhere, so uh, expect another skiff rally, definitely one, uh, again, this year, and then multiple next year, so uh, I'm really looking forward to that. I, I had just too much fun, y'all. Let's see here. Uh, Papa Juan said, any, out of curiosity, have you done any backpacking since the Pine Mountain video? No, I haven't done any backpacking since then, but, uh, I'm actually, I'm going to, to, to speak in, like, September, uh, at a, at a hikers group or something, a hikers club of Alabama or something, uh, although I don't really do backpacking, <laughs> because, you know, it's so much easier, instead of carrying the junk on my back and hiking around and, you know, all that nonsense, I'd just rather be on the water where everything's floating with me. And uh, maybe I got a motor, and uh, you know I can jump in water and get clean and all that good stuff. It's 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 very nice to be on the water. I, I love it a lot a lot more. Uh, but you know, of course, I am you know basically made made for the water. I mean, the water is why I started doing all this stuff because I love the water so much. And you know, the reason I do it is so I can get in the water because that's what I really really love doing. I mean, the water's nice and clear. What's up, uh, Nathan from Wales? Good to see you. What's up, Zito? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely get it too. It's it's a uh, you know, it's just a lot easier when you're on a boat. Um, and, you know, I can go farther. I can see more. Uh, I can do more. I can, you know, see more people, which, you know, sometimes I don't, eh, whatever. I, I care less about that. Sometimes I like to see people. Sometimes I don't. But I just like being on the water. Water's where I'm at. All right, folks. I got to run. Take care. Thank you for tuning into this quick little live stream. And uh, thank you, everyone, who uh, sent all this stuff. See Dory, Dan. Uh, who else sent stuff? Was that the only free stuff? And, uh... Uh, and better boat for sending all the stuff. Uh, water is where I belong. That's right, Brian. Yeah, I, I, I imagine so, sir. I imagine so. All right, folks. Take care. Get out there, and I'll see y'all in, in the next. Uh, hopefully, we'll go live when we're out on the Sea Door down in Panama City. So stay tuned. Uh, starting Sunday morning until Monday afternoon. All right, stay tuned. Be sure you have your notification turned on because I will be going live for sure when we're all first on the new boat. All right, take care. See y'all. What's up, buddy?